Pakistan police have arrested at least 1,500 people as part of a crackdown on supporters of cricketer turned main opposition politician Imran Khan. These arrests come after violence between the police and protesters over the weekend. A court has barred activists with Khan's Pakistan Justice Movement Party from demonstrating on the streets of Islamabad. The move comes just days before a planned opposition rally. While well, Imran Ismail is the Deputy Secretary General of Imran Khan's party and joins us now on the phone from Islamabad. Uh, Mr Ismail, good to speak to you. Now, I understand you were caught up in these detentions today. Just tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, we were called by our, our president, uh, Mr. Khan, uh, chairman. Uh, he called a meeting for the party and we were going there while the government officials, they stopped us from going there. And when we protested, but why are we stopped from going there? Because it's a democratic uh, environment and we can protest, we can go meet our chairman, we can uh, call the meetings. We are doing anything against, uh, against the state. You know, and uh, well, but just... they arrested us, and and then they put us in into the wagon. They treated us like war prisoners, and uh, that was pathetic. I I don't expect this from a uh, democratic government. The issue is that Mr. Nawaz Sharif and his family has been accused of taking siphoning money from Pakistan from different projects in uh, Panama Papers, Panama Leaks, what we call it, proper, mm -hmm. most popularly. And in that case, he is not on. He is not ready to be answerable to the people of Pakistan. Neither he is uh, ready to initiate any kind of inquiry against them. Uh, Mr. Ismail, uh, so are, you, are, are your protests going to continue? It will continue. It will grow up. People are coming in, pouring in from all over the country to Islamabad, and on second of Islamabad, it will be a siege of Islamabad by the people of Pakistan because everybody is demanding for him to present himself and uh, again, uh, present himself for an investigation. And what's been the reaction from the state in terms of your protests? Apart from the detentions, of course. The state is acting like it's, it's, state is acting like it's, uh, it's not a uh, democratic state, but it's acting like it's a military state at Pakistan. Uh, or it's a, it's a kingdom, rather it's a kingdom. Nawaz Sharif is acting like a king, and his all his king, all his uh, successors and kids are like successors. His uh, daughter is accused of siphoning money from Pakistan, and his sons are accused of siphoning money from Pakistan. So you want to, all we want, all our demand is that we want accountability. Uh, uh, and he's not ready to present himself for accountability. Well, Mr. Mr. Ismail, supporters of uh, Nawaz Sharif will say that these accusations against him are just politically motivated. Imran Khan is an opposition politician and he's trying to score political points. What's your response to that? So maybe, maybe they're right. Maybe. Let's assume that they're right. They should present themselves for accountability. If their hands are clean, they're not dirty. They should not be worried about what terms are is the accountability going on. You know, they are not ready to do it. They are not ready to go for the accountability. There are at least 17 uh, investigative agencies in Pakistan. None of them is investigating against him. And they are, they are ready to investigate against anybody who siphoned $100, you know, from the National Exchequer. But not against the Russian, who siphoned billions of dollars again in, from the National Exchequer. They, he has. He is not ready to present himself for accountability. So all we want is that Mr. Nawaz Sharif, Prime Minister of Pakistan, and his family, who's been accused in Panama Papers for siphoning money from Pakistan, taking commission in different projects, should present themselves for the accountability. That's it. Okay, uh, Imran Ismail, we thank you for joining us on TRT World. Thank you.